hello everyone in this video we will see how to create a new command button on the form or in the dynamics 365 forms and uh, we can write the low code expression on the command button to perform some operations so we will see a demo with one example so before i tell you the demo scenario which i'm going to do i will tell you the solution which i have here so i have one solution dnlv inside that i have the two entity application and a student you can see these two entity over here in the app dnlb demo so i have this app created under my solution so this is my app dnlb solution and this dnlb demo uh, app we are having these two entity added so we are going to add the new button on the application form here so i have opened the application here this is the one of the application i have opened so on the application, I'm going to create new button here, uh, something like create new student. And then on the click of that one, I'm going to create the new record of the student and then populate that new record of the student on this lookup field of the application. So to create the new record of the student here, I have the similar fields the like in the student, we are having the name, first name, last name, same these three fields we are having present on the application also so we will use the value of this application fields and then we will populate on the student and later on when this record is created then we will set into this lookup so we will see this demo here so before we proceed to the demo uh, and write the expression so here we have to consider a few things first uh, when you're using this uh, uh, expressions local expression so you make sure you are using the uh, new look of the uh, dynamic 365 because uh, the latest local features what is released it uh, it some of the features will not be supporting in the old look so if you try to uh, if, you, if you convert to the new look then those local expressions will be supported Supporting. So if you find some expressions are not working when you're writing on, you know, the local expressions on command or something like that, and and this is the reason it is not working, then you can change it to the new look and then you can check it. So uh, I had faced it. So when I was using the old look and try to write some expressions, it was not working. So when I convert it to new look, then it is working. So you can check that also. So here uh, the few things and why we need to have the low code here instead of JavaScript for this scenario because same thing we can do using the JavaScript. So having the low code on instead of JavaScript is that the expression what we write on the button, it will not be visible through the debugger. We write the inspect, right? We go to the inspect and then try to see the code, right? So we cannot see those expressions what we have written in the debugger. So the your data will be protected and the execution of the expression will be fast so javascript takes some little bit some time to execute but the when we add the low code then it execute uh, very fast so your expression will be executed first and you will get the result immediately so this is where the advantage we are having uh, on using the low code on the local expressions on some command buttons so so simple scenarios you can use whenever there is feasible to achieve some scenario using the low code i would recommend to go for the low code and use it so now let's move towards the demo here. So uh, I'm going to modify this app here in form my solution. So I will go to the uh, my solution then app and I have selected it here and then go to the edit. And in the edit, I have to add the new button on the application form. So I will go to the my uh, navigation here. I will select my entity application and then I will edit the command bar. And here we are having the four different locations of creating the command bar. So when you do the main grid, basically we try to add the uh, command button on the main grid. So like when you click here and this is the main grid. So if you want to show some button here, so you can use it uh, on the main grid. Then there is a form which you can use when you click on this one, then you can use on the form. So I'm going to select the form here because I'm going to add the main form and the new button so i have selected the main form there is a button for the subgrid there is a button for the associated view you can use it use it so subgrid in the sense like wherever this uh, this rec record is used as a uh, subgrid on another table then 
to on that subgrid if you want to add some button then for that one we can use it there is associated view so like when you go to the relate and then try to see some associated here right and on that one if you like if you click here and then some buttons will be there right if you want to add new buttons on the associated then we go for the associated view buttons here okay so i'm going to create the main form button so that is why i have selected it here go to edit and then uh, i'm going to create the new button here so i will select this new and then going to add the new command button and i will give this name as a new student okay and then i will use the icon as a logo of the new okay add i logo have used so the button will look like this now here we are having two types of actions one is we can use the javascript and other is the use the run formula so when you use the javascript you have to select the javascript library and then we use the functions from that javascript library to execute the uh, actions what we want to do but here we can use the uh, formula bar here so when you click on this one so on select of this button there will be there is only one event on select and there is an expression uh, box for us to write the expression for the what we want to do on the click of this button so there is also visibility we can hide and show uh, based on the condition so uh, like suppose uh, some of the field is uh, when you open this one and they, if this field is uh, uh, this field is uh, empty then i want to show this button if this field is uh, non empty then i want to hide this button so like that condition if you want to do we can do that also so i'm going to show you with the uh, first formula bar here using the logic which we want to achieve it so as i mentioned so i'm going to create the record of the student and then update this one to the application so to do that let's add the expression here so first i will check check whether i am going to proceed so i am going to check the confirm dialog like are you sure you are you going to create the new record something like that so i am going to use the confirm then are you sure to create new student okay this is the confirmation dialog it will come it will have the two button yes and no so when you uh, when you confirm yes then there will be yes expression if no then there will be no expressions so here so inside this one i am going to add the uh, operation so we can check it so if if this field uh, the student field is empty then i do not if the, if it is empty then only i will create the new record right if something is selected then i do not need to create it so for that i'm going to check it if is blank and which field on the self dot selected dot item dot student okay if this is empty then i'm going to uh create the uh, uh, uh create the uh, student record and update the application right and else then i'm going to notify the user that the student record is already selected student value lookup or uh, student value is already selected hence not updating okay this is very simple and here we will write the expression so first of all as we are going to create the uh, uh, update the application so i will use the patch so patch on which one so we are going to use the application so we will select the application and uh, as what so on which record we are going to do so we are going to do on this selected record right this one so we are going to add self dot selected dot item dot item and then so basically which i was trying to say is uh, this self dot selected item it will not work if you are trying to use the old look so if you try in the new look then only these you will get the value of this one so this is what error i was uh, facing so uh, you can cross check now uh, so we are going to patch the application using the um, value of what so on the value of a student so we have to update the student by which a student record so we are going to create the student record so here we will add the another patch to create the student record so students then and it will be default default is used to create the uh, student 
then and here we can set the value of the uh, value of the uh, uh, fields which we want to set it on the student so first of all we are having the name field so it, it is coming from the self dot selected dot item dot name okay then we are having the first name field so first name it is self dot selected dot item dot first name then we are having last name it is self dot selected dot item dot last name okay so like that we can create it once it is created then I will notify the user so notify a new student new student created created and updated on on this application okay so we have done it So there is a uh, if this is if is a starting here. So we have to add the closing parenthesis for the if. Okay, so we have added now. So what happened? Uh, we have added the confirm dialog. So are you sure want to create the student? Yes. If it is, then we are checking. So if the student field is blank then I'm go then I'm going to update the application with the new student record which is created here and with the values uh, we are taking from the application and then we are notifying the application uh, we are notifying the user to the that the new student has been created so there is some expression error one second okay we have to close it here so there is one closing parenthesis missing okay And then we can write here notify and this will be you have cancel the uh, creation something like that okay so basically uh, here there is still some syntax error uh, this is if then let me put inside this one so this if is closing here then we are having else of this one and then this is closing fine now if this is true we have executed then if this is false then this is what it has to execute okay so expression looks fine now so there is no error syntax error so everything is fine so we can see here um, so this is what we have written so I'm going to save and publish it will take some time to publish uh, once it will be published we can see the button on the application form and also the uh, uh, logic what we have built so we can play the app from here directly so when you play then it will load the app here sometimes uh, uh, we need to refresh two three times to get the to refresh the expression logic so immediately it will not affect so it may take few seconds to uh, uh, change, make the changes uh, effect on the button so you have to refresh two three times if you if it is your expression your logic is not uh, uh, working as uh, ex expected so here I'll go to the application okay let me check our uh, visibility is true okay fine so I'll refresh this again
okay now button is visible and uh, currently I do not have any student record created so I will create the new record of the student uh, from here so the name is coming from here so click on the new student and it is asking are you sure you want to create the new student I will click OK so it will create and it will update immediately so it has created the new student and updated here so like this you can build the uh, some scenario very simple scenario kind of examples you can do so all most of the expressions will be feasible so uh, like uh, uh, try to avoid the JavaScript wherever there is possible to use the low expression you can do that same way if you want to hide and so on the button so I can do like this there is a so on the condition base here so if it is always true that is why it is showing so I can make like this if it is blank if uh, the uh, self dot selected dot item dot student is blank then only I will show otherwise it will be false so this expression is simple so I want to show this button when this uh, is blank otherwise it will be hidden so currently uh, what we have done is we have uh, we have set the value of this application field here see the student field here right on the application so now this button should be hidden because now no need to create the new student because it is already set here so for that I'm going to achieve it so I'm going to uh, I, have, I have written the very simple expression and let's check it okay now I will refresh this now you can see the button got hidden because this field is having value I will remove this field save it now this field uh, this button is uh, visible now so like this uh, very simple thing you can build using the low code so I hope uh, this video was useful to you guys and thank you for watching this video